ang definition ng nation eh. But if you look at it, at us, ha, dumating dito ang institutions of the state. Meaning to say, meron tayong Congress, justice system, uh, penal system, you know, all these institutions, you know, but they are not the, the, the very, very elements that form a nation. A nation w would be one a people who are basically united, you know, not necessarily the same culture, but may unity sila, see. Oh, like Japan is a nation. See? That's why I ask those questions to the Japanese. Eh? Tayo, like I said, meron tayo mga institutions, but we are still very, very fragmented hanggang ngayon. Yung doon nangyari sa uh, Marawi, yung the communist uprising, the ethnicities. To be a nation, number one, we should have leaders that have have almost no sense of self. Because pag magkaroon ko ng sense of self, ethnicity, yun ang nangyari. So many things are divisive. Power is divisive. Language is divisive. That's why I always think it's necessary for us to look at the elements that unify us rather than divide us. Eh? History is one unifying element. Culture is one unifying element. Eh? Excellence you know, um, in whatever area also unifies us, us. That is why, uh, remember, pag pag lum lumalaban si Pacquiao, everybody is cheering for him. Right. Yeah. Or when Miss Universe wins, everybody. Yeah. Right. All these things are unifying elements. That that's why we should always emphasize the things that unite us eh, rather than the things that divide us. So Second. If we have again another enemy, okay. yeah, that will unite us.